This video is about labeling and what I think the city required in my case, the city of Redondo Beach. So um, I went to a place, uh, pvlabels.com, and I got this label here that seemed to combine everything that was required uh, in on the on the uh, California permitting guide and also the uh, solar design tool, uh, which are both the plan generators I used. Um, then if you open the panel, you see um, I, I've got uh, this. This was a uh, requirement. And I believe the AC disconnect um, is a requirement at least on the outside. And then this is a special one I added um, when I ordered it. Um, the city wanted me to mark, even though I'm using AC electricity, which um, it seemed to me that uh, it wasn't required to mark the conduit or the J boxes. But the city did say that I needed to mark them, uh, that I've got solar power. Um, and then here's another special case where the utility disconnect, there was language on the on uh, s sticker, uh, the original manufacturer's sticker. And um, my interpretation of the code was that you're not supposed to cover this language. So I had to just take this sticker here and cut it. And I just put two pieces, this piece and this piece. You can kind of see. Um, and uh, again, rapid shutdown um, on both on this panel and this panel. And then on the combiner box, I labeled the combiner box with this warning here. Um, the other thing is I, I did, uh, I do have a similar uh, I do have this uh, label here that looks just like I, d I have on, on the main panel. The other thing that was required, I have uh, microinverters, and they wanted me to put this label every around every eight feet. And uh, I also marked the um, junction boxes. So... That was just, I just happened to get this label because it wasn't too much more expensive. And I just to label it, and then the inspector required more of them. So um, I don't know, maybe if you're in Redondo Beach, that'll happen to you too. Here is my invoice from pvlabels.com. As far as purchasing labels, I bought my system from the LT store, and there's several places you can buy labels from usually with your system it would be nice if when I bought the labels from the vendor if um, the it fulfilled all the requirements but unfortunately I don't think this is the way to go um, I think you need to go to pvlabels.com and um, if you go to placement and downloads, you can look at um, the two possible scenarios. It's going to be the um, string inverter and the, um, in my case, it was the micro inverters. Uh, so when you buy this, you can kind of get, uh, you can you can take a look at, you know, in detail. It's a PDF, but unfortunately, you have to buy a bunch of. It looks like you have to buy every uh, the the labels before you could see this. But you can get a good view here of some of the things that they recommend. Okay, so what's required? Um, that's kind of a difficult question. Um, we can we can look over at the city's. Um, fast rapid plan approval document which comes from the um, California solar permitting guide and um, number eight is markings and we can look here and see 
what they require. And some of it will look familiar to you when I showed you my stuff. However, it's been my experience that um, there is other labeling required, the city required other labeling. Um, and we could also look at the solar design tool plans, which also call out um, labels. And it looks like this, you know, there's some that are rapid shutdown and then AC disconnect. So I'd have to say the um, solar design tool is more, uh, has more detail in it. So uh, I sort of uh, lit, went a little bit overboard um, with the, um, uh, and used the, um, you know, some of the labeling that um, was in here. And it's not going to cost you that much extra money. And labeling um, is um, a frequent cause of failing the inspection. So I'd rather have labels on hand. Another thing I did is I had um, a brother P-Touch that I, um, and I bought red labels uh, for it. So on the fly, you could just make your own labels. Anyway, I hope this was helpful and uh, good luck with your project.